Let's talk about In UAM or Uniformly Accelerated Motion, there are It sounds difficult, right? But to tell you honestly, it's very simple. Huh? Simple? Yes, it's easy. <laughs> okay, I'll explain it to you in the simplest way. Hi, I'm Shayna Sbaria, a student from Grade 9 Manga of Governor Ferrer Memorial National High School Mate. An object in UAM or Uniformly Accelerated Motion is an object that is moving in an acceleration that is constant. We have several terms to encounter in this topic. First one is speed. This is the distance traveled per unit time. It is a scalar quantity and it has no direction. Velocity is a vector quantity. It is a speed with direction. These two terms, speed and velocity, have almost the same equation. Speed is equal to distance over time and velocity is equal to displacement over time. So, what's the difference? Speed has no direction and velocity, on the other hand, has direction. How about the distance and displacement? What's their difference? Distance is the total length of a path traveled, while displacement is the straight line distance between the starting and end point. So, if I walk from the post towards the car and I go back to where I started, which is the post, the distance I traveled is twice the interval of the post and the car. If the interval is 5 meters and I walk towards the car and I went back to the post, the total distance that I have traveled is 10 meters. For the displacement, from the right to the left, which is the car, and I walked back to the right, which is the post, my position did not change. The displacement will be equal to 0. Next is acceleration. This is the rate of change of velocity. Average acceleration is the change of velocity. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so, the formula for acceleration is this. Average acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. Positive acceleration is a body moving with increasing speed. If you are at rest, then you suddenly move at a speed of 10 meter per second. What will be your acceleration? Since you are at rest, the initial velocity is 0 meter per second. And 10 meter per second is the final velocity. If it took you 5 seconds to do that motion, the average acceleration will be equal to 10 meter per second minus 0 meter per second over 5 seconds. And the answer is 2 meter per second squared. Negative acceleration is a body moving with decreasing speed. An example of negative acceleration is pulling into a parking lot to park your car. Zero acceleration is a body moving at a constant speed. An example of zero acceleration is walking 2 meters every 15 seconds. Uniformly accelerated motion is similar to the case of a free fall at which acceleration does not change through the manner of motion. That's it for the uniformly accelerated motion. Physics.